Sorry, just short of hand over that. Why is he there? I like that pencil, right? He used to. That's it. Actually. Okay, you can do another one. Even happier just this way, Jim. How can we be happy? We're ecstatic, we're ecstatic. It's too good reason. I'm Roy Kerr, I'm one of the members of the Ported and Freeze Development Group. Um, I've been actually quite pleased today to see Jean coming down here, who's one of the oldest residents of the King and Key, uh, opening her pontoons, which is the first two pontoons we've got extra to go in, but that's the first two pontoons, and this is a really important landmark in everything we're doing here and trying to tidy up the place and make the harbour viable again. So how do you see the future, Roy? The future in here I see it as for people coming in here to overwinter and to do maintenance in their boats because the tidal slot isn't terribly big and so it's not quite so handy and because we're well inland but it's an absolutely ideal sheltered harbour for uh, overwintering boats where you can actually work on them. This used to be a very busy harbour many years ago. It's a very busy commercial harbour. At one point it was the fifth busiest harbour in Britain which is really quite impressive but that was the American connection with Virginia and uh, tobacco and the other things which is all linked with local families but we want to see the, fu the future in this place is with leisure sailors and uh, people who just want to come somewhere where there's a safe environment to keep their boats and to overwinter and to work in the boats and go and explore the rest of the Solway the rest of the Irish Sea in the west coast of Scotland. That's great Roy, thank you very much, thank you for that. Okay.